Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's all fine. It was just me. It wasn't even you. I think it was just me. I had my volume off. All right, so uh, you're fine. Okay. So, so, all right. Um, some people wanted to know about Guyana, so maybe I should start off yes. on that note. Yes, please. Well, it's actually a national holiday today. Um. Usually when it falls on a Sunday, we get a Monday off as holiday. So I'm at the university because I don't have proper bandwidth at home. So I'm here all alone with the security guards, I think, walking around. So quiet. Um, and usually when it falls on a Sunday, we get a Monday off as holiday. So I'm at the university because I don't have proper bandwidth at home. So I'm here all alone with the security guards, I think, walking around. So it's quiet. Um, and it's it's fairly hot as well. And this room is locked up because I don't want any noise affecting the presentation. So um, all day, we, our holly, it's Republic Day. We call it Mashramani. Mashramani. It's an indigenous word. Um, that means celebrate after hard work or something like that. So 44 years ago we became a republic. It means that we're no longer under um, the queen, so to speak. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Mashramani, I hope I spelled that correctly. Yeah, Mashramani, 66, correct. No, 1966 was our um, independence. And 1970 was our republic. Um, we, we gained republican status, as we would say here. So we are no longer under the queen. Anyway, so that's Guyana, um, formerly British Guyana. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm Len, and I work at the University of Guyana. And um, I'm here presenting. Sorry, I should have presented ten days ago, but I I wasn't finished with the presentation um, just too busy doing other things um, so maybe in the chat room you can tell me where you're from so yeah I I'm not challenged I'd like to give Nelly a, a hard time I think I, I've just been pushing her around a lot sorry about that Nelly so maybe in the chat room you can tell me um, where you're from so I kind of know who I'm speaking with um, that would be nice before I go into my presentation. Yeah, so Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nelly. Thomas from Venezuela, yeah. Spain, mm -hmm. very nice. Spain again, yeah. Spain. It's uh, here. Here it's 30, 32 degrees. It's hot. It's very nice though. I, I prefer this than than snow. Yeah, prefer this than snow. I can go outside and run around. Yeah, and very humid as well. Very humid. Um, yeah. How many of us are here? Maybe five or so. <laughs> The middle of a Monday, I suppose. Okay, all right. So, yeah, a few people from around the place, from around the universe. So, what I want to talk about today is kind of hard to not hear anybody and talk because I have to get used to it. 35, yeah, it's about 33 or 30, yeah, must be more than 32 here. Some of us would know what I've been doing, I've been using Facebook for a long time. So are we ready? Yeah, okay. So what I want to talk about today, it's kind of hard to not hear anybody and talk, but I have to get used to it. Um, so as Nelly, Nelly would know and some of us would know, I, I've been doing, I've been using Facebook for a long time. Um, big Facebook fan. Um, and partly because we don't have technology here, kind of had to 
find ways to um to find ways to to, to get some technology to support what I do and um, Facebook seemed to have been the one um, that I'm kind of used to and I kind of like a little bit so the question I'm, I'm trying to answer today and I've been trying to answer for a long time is you know can can Facebook sort of work like a learning management um, system for me at least and the, the short answer to that is yeah perhaps a little bit maybe we'll see so I just want to talk about our context here a little bit and then um, what I've been doing and then I want to talk a little bit about the design of Facebook groups and some of you may already know this so I hope it doesn't get boring um, perhaps if needs be maybe I can do a screen share and um, just take you through some of the things I've been doing so I don't know and then then we'll, we'll see what happens so um, feel free to ask me questions because I'm kind of looking in the in the chat box to see if anybody is you know there so I said this two weeks ago I think when I was doing my CO 14 presentation suppose it's worth repeating again that here at my university we don't have any um, official learning management system uh, yeah yeah please um, please type make comments um, I want to know that you're there so that yeah it, it helps a little bit uh, my university is we're a face-to-face -face institution we don't have much um, online. If you want to go and have a look and try it out, I can provide some help and advice for you if you like it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm here, Veronica. That's why I don't have a Facebook. Don't know how to use it. It's very simple. Um, Veronica, I hope at the end, by the end of this hour, you'd be, you you'd want to go and have a look and try it out. I can provide some help and advice for you if you like it. So I'm, I'm here Veronica, that's why we're doing this anyway, so feel free to ask me. Um, so yeah, um, so we've been using all, yeah, that's why I use it, because all of my students are on Facebook. <laughs> it's changing all the time. Um, you'll, as you will see in the design, it's actually changing a whole lot. Um, perhaps I can do a... Uh, Maybe Nelly, one day you can set up a session for me to show people how to use Facebook groups. I'd, have, I'd love to do that. Not that it's difficult or you need anybody, but I, I, I can do it. I mean, I, I've been doing it for about six years now, so yeah, it's not difficult at all. So yeah, that's great. Um, I'll have to make a note. I'll have to write it down or I'll forget. Yeah, Suzanne. Suzanne, Veronica, Nelly, um, Abilash. Um, yeah, that's true. People want to do all sorts of things. Um, it doesn't have one thing or the other. You can do everything. You can have a little bit of fun. You can, you know, do whatever you like. <laughs> um, learning is very social anyway, so um, no, no worries. So, so go to the next slide. So I've been using I've been using um, Facebook a lot and a few other things, but here at the university we we use all sorts of stuff, right? So, um, perhaps it's interesting to tell you that maybe soon we'll be setting up a Moodle site. So, um, we'll see. But anyway, so we have a lot of challenges, as you would as you would expect. Yeah, if it if it doesn't work for you, then don't force it. I think that's the that's the thing. You don't want to force it. Um, but. 
Hi Tom, um, that's an interesting point actually. Uh, don't know how it's gonna work out. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. I, I'm not so sure yet what will happen with our Moodle environment. Um, anyway. So, we're in a challenging environment. Um, and and that's, that's the story. That's my story. I'm in a very challenging environment, and I have to, you know, make things work. Sorry if I'm drinking and um, disrupting. Yeah, that was at um, we had a Moodle at um, a small unit called the Institute of Distance and Continuing Education. But yeah, nothing really has happened. They delivered a few courses, one or two courses, but that was it. So, um, and we, while the institute is a part of us, they're they're still separate in some ways. So, the university itself has not had Moodle. Um, we've had Moodle training actually. Some time ago, there was a consultant. Um, yeah, it's very popular. All right. Okay. So are we ready? Um, so here, um, people, you know, sorry. Educators are found Facebook fairly useful. Right. Okay. What is the Valerius effect? Oh, that, right. So what they um, these are some of the studies, a couple of studies. Um, I'm doing an extensive review at the moment. So, so here, um, people, you know, educators have found Facebook fairly useful. Some of them. Um, there are some issues. Yeah, they, they are. It's a paper I'm quoting there, actually. Um, so, um, you'd be interesting in maybe to know that. Okay, right. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, so oh, so it's the Villers and Pretorius and then Chan et al. and then Bagayan. No. The first paper, if the first reference there, I'm working with um, that author. We're doing an extensive review at the moment. So hopefully there's going to be some more on it um, soon. Anyway, so yeah, you, this review stuff is not interesting anyway. So let's move on. Um, so, what I want to, yeah, like Deutsch 2010, exactly. Um, some, some authors basically have been using um, both Facebook, Moodle, WebCT, and kind of trying to see, you know, what what students are doing on the different platforms and um, in some cases students preferred Facebook and in some cases they prefer to work in WebCT and, and Moodle so yeah there must be some some things going on there I <laughs> yeah that's that's a problem um, Susan no the answer is it depends um, if I'm if it's an interesting conversation, they will write. Um, but if not, you know, they just we use it for other things. One time we, yeah, yeah, Tom. One time we, one year we had uh, use it for a more formal discussion, and it it worked okay. But when you have large classes, it's difficult to do that. It's difficult to use it as a discussion space because it can become very messy. And I think that's one of the problems if you're thinking about using Facebook group, for example, as a learning management system. It's very difficult to manage. And you'll see in a minute, in a minute I'll, I'll get into um, the design bit of it. Now this is a very nice paper to read actually. Um, if you have 40 maybe, but it's 
the process start to get large transactions? How many learners work for a Facebook discussion? From my experience, if your class is larger than 20 or 30, it becomes difficult for discussions. Um, if you have 40, maybe, but if the classes start to get larger than that, it's very difficult to do discussions. And that's simply because the design is very difficult for large classes, as it is. So, yeah. Look, um, we're at the mercy of the designers. You can have audio. Oh, <laughs> there is a problem with. There used to be a group chat, for example. Um, and that disappeared as well. Um, so the groups are. Look, I think we're at the mercy of the designers. <laughs> so um, we'll, we'll get into the design. We'll get into the design. So what I've been doing basically, um, I use Facebook groups for all of my courses, whether they are small classes or large classes. And what do I use them for? Well, um, I set up groups and I invite students to search for the groups and join. And then I approve them and accept them. And then we do everything else. Communicate uh, with notices, updates, whatever. We sh I share all my lecture resources. Um, we, we do discussions. It's not a whole lot. Um, and with small classes, I do more discussions. And sometimes I have mini tutorials. That works really well for small classes. For large classes, that's difficult to do. And that, that's something I would tell you to watch out for as an experience. I mean, small classes, fine, large classes, not so good. So, anyway. I have a chapter in here. So I've been experimenting with Facebook quite a bit, as, as was mentioned before. And I've written a fair bit about it. Oh, you got uh, it. Oh, nice, um, nice, very nice. I have That's a chapter in here yeah. on Facebook. There is another chapter coming soon. Nelly would be happy to see this. But I something else. You seeing this, Nelly? Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, I love it. I have it very nicely. Yeah, there's a chapter. I want to say. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's our book, and there is another chapter coming soon in another book, but that's on something else. <laughs> okay, so um, what I want to say, I want to say that we have experimented a fair bit with Facebook groups. Um. Someone asked me, it's interesting, someone asked me yesterday to for an interview, a student, a uh, psychology student from the University of Glasgow. They're working on a thesis and they want to know how students use Facebook groups. And they want to know more about moderation and how that works and stuff. I'm saying this because I think it's interesting to, for me at least, to, to kind of share what you're learning. And, and and that's more about what these papers are, basically. Um, I, w I was very surprised that someone said, hey, tell us what, tell us about moderation. How does that work? Well, moderation is very difficult for large groups. And as you'll see in the design, that's one of the troubles we have, to know who is who in the groups itself. So, anyway, so I, I want to, I want to, talk a little bit about the design aspect of Facebook group. Um, I'm a computer guy. I'm a computer science major. And that's my field. So, and, and design is, is my thing. But I want to, apart from that, I want to talk about the design and perhaps the affordances of a Facebook group as it is right now. Um, so when I set up a Facebook group, what happens? What do I have available for me to to manage the learning process? I mean, I don't really like that word manage. Maybe I should say facilitate. But yeah, what is available? Um, and just to let me know that you're there and looking at this slide, maybe you can acknowledge. So 
Um, right, good, great. So, this is a current group that I have. Um, and maybe nearly um, at some point, I can do a screen share and do a quick demonstration of this group um, as it is right now. So, but anyway, let's let's go through the design. So, when I create a group, yeah, they're one click away. Thanks, Pablo. They're always one click away from being in the group. Um, and I found that to be the most efficient thing ever. They're there once they have the link to the group. One click and they're in the group. Um, and that's fine. And we can create different groups. We can have open groups. We can have a secret group. We can have a closed group. As you would notice here, yeah, um, they they do leave. Yeah, so it's uh, I. I mean, I think that's one of the reasons. Look, said they um, went after WhatsApp anyway because some of their young folks were leaving, and WhatsApp was a good way of is a good way of keeping young folks. So, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. But yes, people do leave. Um, um yeah, so we have that challenge. Um, you're going to have to look for me. Um, for me, it's better than nothing, um, and it, it works a little bit more than nothing. It it, it works a bit. Um, so what do we have? Okay, let's. Um, when you're in a group, you're insulated from people. Yeah, hello. Some students just didn't like the idea of a Facebook group. They just said. I don't do that with teachers. That's fine. But um, Monica, you have to. You can remind them that being in the group does, is not the same as being somebody's friend. When you're in a group, you're insulated from people's personal Facebook, um, and that's a big difference, I think. And sometimes I have to explain that that when you're in the group, you don't you don't have to be my friend. Be in the group. Um, yeah, and that's that's interesting, to, uh, um, Tom. Um, and sometimes I do not intervene a lot. Sometimes I leave them to use the group as as they like, um, and they do that sometimes. Um, yeah, just remind them that hello, sorry, you don't have to be my friend to be in the group. It's perfectly fine. And the other thing is this, you don't have to have Facebook friends to be using a group. A student came to me the other day and said, well, I'm not on Facebook, what do I do? I said, you don't have to go on Facebook to be, to befriend a hundred people before you can join the group. Just make an account and then join the group and that's all you'll do. <laughs> um, you need an account, yes. Um, but you don't need friends, do you? You just need an account and you can use the account to use the group. And I have a couple of students like that. They they are not users. They don't have a lot of friends. They don't socialize a lot. But they're able to use the group. They're able to communicate. They, are, um, they can get their reading materials beforehand. I give them extra materials to read. I share videos. Um, there are a couple of interesting things, I think. So, yeah, that, I mean, I, th I think it's interesting. Um, no, and I say that too. I say, I say it politely to them. I said, you don't have to be my friend to be in my Facebook group or in the class Facebook group. And I, I don't generally let students be my friends. So I keep them out of my personal space. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> You're a popular guy, I suppose. And that's why. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a lot of friends on Facebook. Um, yeah, I don't, I generally don't. Yeah, I work with um, 18, 19, 20 years old, some older um, adults, but generally um, out of high school, you know, early university. So, yeah, Monica. Um, 
I guess Malik and I would work. Yeah, under 18, I suppose, would pose a different set of challenges. And um, yeah, adults, I can always tell them, don't do this or don't do that. That's fine. Um, Olenka, that's very nice to hear. Um, yeah. OK. Um, so anybody who's looked at the design, so if you've not looked at a Facebook group before, have you looked at the design? The picture I have on the screen. So what I'm what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to yeah of course Abish, Abilash working with adults is a whole different ball game. It's a different game. Um, I do have some teens in my class, but they they generally tend to um, listen to the adults. <laughs> yeah. So on this screen here, um, I just want to point out a couple of things that are probably useful to note. So if you look at the arrows where they're going, I've pointed to a couple of things. And maybe if you have any questions, you can ask me. So I have an arrow going to files, and that's a place where I can upload files, and where uploaded files are stored. You notice it's a closed group. I can sort. I can invite by email, or I can invite. If somebody is in my Facebook list, I can invite them to a group. Uh, where the date is, I can click on that to open the thread in a new ta in a new um, browser window, and I can get the URL from there and stuff like that. So this is what a group would look like in general when you create one. How do uninvited people enter a closed group? I can send them an email. And that's very true, Ablash. Um, you have to kind of work out what might or might not work for some people. So how do uninvited people enter a closed group? I can send them an email. That's one. I can send them an email. Um, or I can send them the URL for the group. And they can then ask to join the group. So that's where you get people in. Watching this slide. Yes, this is. A snapshot from one of my current classes. This is a class of students from the social sciences. They're taking a course called computer science. Yeah. Um. Um. The owner, yes, but you can also um allow others to to approve. So if if. You have other administrators; they too can allow, can be allowed to approve, or you can allow friends. You can let it be so flexible that anybody can add anybody. Um, so you can set up different levels of um, administrator, if you like. So, but for um, some classes, I do not let anybody else approve, and that's a challenge. Approving members is a challenge because you don't want anybody outside of the class. Yes, that's true. Um, and you have to monitor spamming. You have to manage that very well. And I, I keep an eye out every day. Um, and I delete unwanted. <laughs> I, I delete spammers. Um, you have to do that. You have to take care because it's, um, because it's Facebook. Um, you're gonna have spammers, um, but yeah, you have to take time to do that. So I would suggest. Okay, any more questions on this slide? How do you? Okay. So somebody was asking, how do you add? That's true. Um, I generally, Avalash, I generally tell my students to keep the conversation. Um, reasonably um, professional. They do discuss social things sometimes. Um, I, I, I'm not so 
hard on that, but if they talk rubbish, I'll, I'll just ask them to politely cut the conversation and talk about something else. So yes, that's interesting. Okay, somebody was asking, how do I add? So, two ways, I can invite by email. So if you're actually seeing here, and then if you're in my friends list, I can add you. So if you notice, Nelly is in my friends list. Yay. Thank you, Nelly. So I can start to type her name in that little box there um, called, you know, add people to group. And I can add somebody who is already in my list. So that's how you can do that. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's right, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so this is an interesting, this is an interesting slide, I think. So prior to a couple of years ago, it was hard to manage files in Facebook. File management was difficult in Facebook groups. Now it's a bit better. So you have an area called the file area. And you can you can create docs. You can create so if you notice I have in class activity one and two. If you notice at the top left and then I have, there are some PDFs that I've uploaded. And all of those are nicely organized in a in one area called the file area. So that's very nice. And then it allows me to sort by docs and by files. So, and then um, you can download those files. Where do you get your files from? You can upload a file from your computer. You can upload files from your computer or you can upload files from you can upload files from Dropbox in it. So, where do you get your files from? You can upload a file from your computer. If you look at this slide, who's looking at this slide? Hands up. Now, Facebook. Yay. Right, Facebook about two years ago allowed, they had an arrangement with Dropbox that allows you to connect your Facebook account with, a, with your Dropbox account. So you can connect from Facebook with your Dropbox account. And that is what I do and that's, I think, I think this is an important point here. You see, you can connect Skype with Facebook contacts too. So it's interesting. Do we need to create them on Facebook, or they are embedded in Facebook? No. Um, there is a way. Um, share that with you a bit later. It's not difficult to do how to configure Dropbox and Facebook to connect. It's very, it's very simple to do, and I, I can show you how to do that. I don't know where those files are. You can't upload some files directly. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's true. That's true. Um, that's true, Tom. Now, here, here is the, here is an important point I think about the Dropbox. If I upload files in Facebook, I don't know where those files are. Um, I don't know where they go, and I. Um, frankly, I don't read all the copyright issues and all of that. Um, what I do though is I put my files in my Dropbox and I share them, share them from there. So yeah, um, so I kind of try to put my files in my Dropbox and then link to them. And that's a strategy I use, and I think it's it's reasonably useful. So I think I think that's good. But I mean. I don't know really what happens with my files in my Dropbox, um, but that's that's a that's a nice thing I think. Don't you think that's a nice utility? 
environment. Okay, so um, what else? Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, it's very nice. I love Dropbox too. Um, now, what else can we use the Facebook group for? How else can we use it in in a class environment? Now, the search is a very useful. The search is a very useful tool. So what I do is when I create a post, I kind of tag it. You know, you know how uh, Twitter users in here. So I use the hash. Um, and I can tag, I can create links, and then I can sort, I can sort, yep, hashtag, events, calendar, thank you, thank you very much for sharing all of those. Does Facebook allow us to do these things free of cost? Um, I have not paid any, any money yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, Tom, search is great, and I recommend it. Um, Anybody pays to use Facebook? Well, you pay with your data. That's what you pay with. <laughs> okay, so the search is very useful. There are lots of free tools, yeah. I like Facebook, um, but there, there, there are some others. So search works really well. Um, and I would recommend that you think about using it efficiently and effectively. Let's move on. Now, here's a very nice thing I do. Um, and I'm letting you in my class here. So I created a doc, I create doc chair activities I want my students to do. So if you noticed, I created a doc called activity one. And I have some questions in there. And within 20 minutes, eight of my students saw it. You notice that at the bottom? I don't know what that means, but it says seen by eight. And then I can see who is it um, would have seen these things. So um, that, that's fine. The docs are good. Yeah, this is a doc. You can create a doc in, um, in Facebook. So instead of typing, Typing it as a regular discussion, you can type your stuff in a doc and share it. Yeah, you can you can actually see it. I'm gonna do a screen I'm gonna do a screen share in a couple of minutes to show you actually that this works. This is a regular so this is not a Um or you can do Yeah. Um Tom you <laughs> I have a lot to learn from you, I think. That's good. Um or you can do, you can create a thread. And this is a regular thread, so this is not a doc. And if you notice, and I can actually see if my students are actually seeing this um, and stuff. So, now you can also upload a new version of a document, but this is a, this is a bit messy because it kind of, Overwrite the old one, which is maybe not always what you want, but anyway, you you can do that. So there's a bit of a bit you can do with the uploading, and you know. So if if you cre if you updated a document and you want to upload that, then you can actually do that. So there's a bit on that. So having shown you a little bit of the design aspect of it. Um, there, there are quite a few other things um, that you can use. There used to be a group chat feature that I used a lot for tutorials. Um, it's difficult to, well, doesn't work now for the groups. You, can, you can't do that. And they, there used to be a threaded forum as well in the early days. And no, now it's difficult to manage threads. So you have to search and you have to scroll down a lot and you have to do a lot of hard work. So I don't think it's great for threaded discussions in terms of the management. It's, it's yeah, I, I, well, my chat is on sometimes. Um, private messages are good. A lot of students ask me good questions using private messages. So yeah, that, that's really um, useful. 
um, there's a tagging, there's a polling feature as well, so I ask questions sometimes. Sometimes I use the questions to get feedback on a lecture, so I ask, you know, what did you think about the lecture today, and I put five options, and then ask them to create their own options and stuff like that so it's useful um, anyway so so what is it good for I think as we started off by asking the question can we use a Facebook group for some aspects of learning management and I think the answer is yes we can do threaded discussions but they're difficult to manage sometimes I think it's important to tag them um, so that you can search for threads easily File sharing is much easier now. Um, sorting is very nice, so I recommend that. And then um, enrollment, well, that's a threat. Sometimes students ask to be added, and then I don't really, I can't double check who should be in the class. So verifying um, group members is a challenge, especially for large classes. I post articles and Facebook tracks who views what I post. Yep, excellent. Yep, I like the polling too, Tom. Works really well. So for me, uh, what are some of the biggest challenges? Um, <laughs> the, to me, the biggest challenge is user management. When I have a class of 400, it's hard to tell who should be in the group and who should not be in the group. It's hard to tell who is participating and who is not. So that's a big challenge. But it works really, really well for small groups. Small groups are fantastic because then you kind of tend to know each other. You know everybody. So, um, and the second challenge for me is, yeah, I have 400. I have 450 this semester, actually. So wish me well. Um, <laughs> yes, 450. But, you know, the, um, in a technology challenged environment, Facebook group works. I give thanks for that. <laughs> um, yeah, locating content is a bit of a challenge as well. What would I recommend? From my experience, what would I recommend? Um, I think it's important to do some, well, training or at least help your students understand the environment. For example, training would help. I have not done this a whole lot. Important thing. Um, help them with file management. That would be useful as well. Um, and maybe if we can do better tagging um, and stuff like that, then it would make it a whole lot easier to do. But a little bit of training would help. I have not done this a whole lot, but I'm conscious now that some students like someone came to me the other day and say, hey, how can I find the files? Where are the files? And then I have to send them at the top. Go to the top. Look at the top. There is a file icon there. Click on it. And they said, yeah, that's fine. So they found it. So that, that helps. What I would like to see, I would hope, I hope we'd get back the group chat. Um, we don't have a lot of Twitter users here. Not a lot of Twitter users, so that's a bit of a challenge. They're all on Facebook. Um, but yes, I would I would do that at some stage, hopefully. Maybe if with a small class. Um, um, I, I hope that there is some way of better managing threads later. Um, so... I've put up my Twitter handle. If you'd like to follow me, then that's fine. You can manage one million of users by to and track their work. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, much easier for that. I think if we can tag better, um, then it might make it easier. I'd like to see better file management. I'd like to see uh, the group chat, thread management. And perhaps a tag cloud, for those of us who know what a tag cloud is, I think a tag cloud would be a great addition to the group. I, I wish I can tell Mark Zuckerberg, please add these things into your Facebook group design. I think they'll make 
the groups much much easier to use in the group but I, I think aren't there ap's for these already um yeah perhaps but um yeah but but then it's another app isn't it um so i, I guess i'm asking for too much in the group but i, I think somehow these could be maybe integrated i don't know um yeah that's right um the thing is um i guess i'm still kind of not big on integrating too many apps yet into um <laughs> yeah lots of selfies um one time the students were changing the cover at the top and they were putting up their own pictures but yeah that's fine i i allow them to do that yes nelly but the apps um I guess it's more of a personal choice at the at the moment, but I'll have to think about that a little bit. Um, so yeah, um, let me let me see if I can actually show yes, you of course. what I uh, do. It's a lot easier because you're on the uh, desktop. A little bit. I see you started. It it'll take a few seconds. Okay. Um, yeah. I can I screen share somehow? Oh, I extended the class. That's why you look at the time. I extended it by 20 minutes. It should say 22 minutes left. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll, just maybe two or three minutes. We should be fine. So. Why? Where's IQ left us? Oh, it says thanks. Yeah. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't need anything. You don't need Java. Yeah. You don't need okay. Flash. So if there, uh, if you have questions or comments or so, please feel free to ask in the. Your screen sharing could not run. Oh my. The slides are Halima. The slides are um, in the course. Difficulty. I'm trying again. Let me see. Uh, courseware. So you can get them there. Those things anyway, so um, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. Thank you, Tom. Um, so while this is while we're trying to know the data screen share, let's see, let me try that one more time. Um, let me try it again. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. Have you um, done this before? So, while this is while we're trying oh, to load the, the screen share, yeah, let's see. Let me try it out one now more time. Now you have to go see. to your uh, to your site. Let me try it again. What are you seeing my Facebook? Uh, it'll come in a second. Start. It depends on our yes. Some, no. I'm trying to do a uh, screen we're share. We're seeing the room. We're, you're so, not there yet. Oh, okay, you're going. Um, the screen share. Your screen is. Um, left hand side. I have a ton of groups, right? Um, what are you seeing my Facebook? Okay, so if you look to the left, left hand side, I have a ton of groups, right? Um, some, some of them are my course groups and some of our, some are other groups that I'm a member of. Um, yes. So I'm gonna take no, you into I, one of my groups. You can, you can, if you pop. Tell it me up, what you're seeing. Uh, the um, chat. You can pop it up and it'll be. So I'm into my the, the group that? that I use Snapchat the from left, on the, the bottom side. left. You need to so here's my up. group. And then you um, can respond. Yeah. Are you seeing? Bottom left. I can't see if you're typing. So oh, okay, you're seeing. Oh, it's not there. Oh no, you don't have. You first you have to screen share, and then it goes to the bottom left. You need to screen share first. Um, and then you'll I, see. Uh, yeah. No, first you have to go. First, go back to left. Facebook, and I'll show you. Okay. Where's my left? Facebook. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at my Facebook here. Okay. 
Um, oh, is that okay, a baby? Let me see. Let Who's me that? See. Who's the baby? Bottom left. Oops. No, I'm. I I'm looking at my okay. Facebook here. Right. Okay, if, you, if you're seeing, that's fine. Um, all right, Nelly, if there is a question in the group, please ask. Please speak it at me so that I can answer. But anyway, I'm taking you through here. Now, this is my file area. You notice all my files are here. So that's what you see. Um, of course, is my main <laughs> course area. Um, and I can take you down through that. And there's, this is a fairly new course. So you actually see what's going on here a little bit. Um, someone has requested, and I'm not sure I know this student, so I kind of have to check my class list before I add them, if you notice. Here, um, 86 members at the moment. Um, so this is a reasonably big thing. That's my list. And sometimes I do verify this with my official class list. Um, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge to do. I wish we could automate that in some way. Um, what else do I need to show you? What else do I want to show you? Um, I can add Nelly to the group if you notice. So, can you see that? I'm trying to add someone to the group, and then Nelly's up there. Or I can invite by email, and it brings this up, and then I can start to put in somebody's email there. So that works like that. So that's fine. I guess if you have a if you have all the email addresses of your students, you can just copy it in there, and that would be a nice way of inviting them to the group. Or um, this is the group URL at the top here, so I can share this. I can copy this and share this with the student in the address bar of the browser. So that's useful. Um, if I want, I can add a photo or a video. That's very easy to do. You can upload a photo or a video. Um, there's some administrative things I can do here. You see this little star? I can actually edit the group settings. Um, I can change it to an open group or make it a secret group. I can. I can say any member can add or approve members, or I can say any member can add members, but I am the one who would approve it. Um, and I can, there are a few settings that I can change. Um, events, I can set that up um, as well. So that's one of my group there. Um, we have another group that we're using that I'm in now. And if you notice, this one is 309. This one is used a lot for putting up notices. If you notice, as I scroll, there are lots of notices, because this is the beginning of the semester. And we're trying to sort out lab and tutorial times and those sort of stuff. Um, the lecturer has uh, uploaded some files already, and we can locate those in the file area. Um, I can create a doc if I want. Um, if, you, if you're seeing the doc thing, I can put a typo and I can do some typing, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, but I don't want to create a doc now, so. Um, this is my Facebook, um, <laughs> by the way, so. Um, we have another smaller group that I'm using, I'm going to show you right now, and that's uh, 10 members. And this is a group of lecturers. And what we do in here is we use this forum to um, to discuss students' um, final year project proposal. If you notice, there are discussions going on in here about the merits and the merits of proposals. So we upload our proposals and we discuss them here. And this is a secret group. If you notice, 
where my cursor is, that's a secret group. Um, and it's different from a closed group or an open group. Um, and this is a group of all the lectures. And if you notice, all the proposals are here. So, yeah, so I suppose um, and this is another group that I am, this is, uh, those of you who know about MOOCs, right? We're in a MOOC, right? Um, this is the RISO 40. Some of you may be around RISO 40. And this is the group that's very, very, very active. Um, so, yeah. So you can actually see this is my, this is my um, learning environment, actually. Facebook is very professional for me. I use it uh, for friends and family sometimes. That's my personal space. But I have a lot of groups and stuff that I use. And I, I use it for learning um, and for, you know, my work. So it's it's interesting, I think, for me, um, at least. I, I've found it to be very useful. So is how many posts can you pin? You can only pin one right now. They used to allow you to do three, um, but Facebook went back. They went backwards, I think, on that one. So I wish they can allow us to pin more. So if you notice, I have this one pinned here. Um, I can unpin it if I want. Um, I can edit it. I can delete the post. Um, yeah, and it, you know. I can do a lot of stuff there. Um, I can create a new group if I, if I want. That's easy to do. Here's an option. Um, yeah, so what other questions do I have? Citroen course fee, da, da, da. Okay, so you, you happy with that? Anything else you want to see? That's a quick um, run through of um, some of the groups that I use and some of the features that I use. So maybe I should stop the sharing now, um, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, that's a little peek into my Facebook world for, for work, my Facebook work and learning. Um, the groups are very useful. I, I, um, I'll tell you, interestingly, here, when I started using Facebook, everybody was like, oh, you're wasting time, you, you know. That, that's not good. And now every, everybody's using Facebook because the students are there and, you know, we don't have any other technology at the university. So why not go where the students are? That's always, that's always my argument. It's, be, it's nice to be where your students are. Um, it's, it's an easy way to, to meet them. So that's a little bit on... Um, the question, can we use Facebook to do any we, sort uh, of learning management? Feel free to uh, um, add your comments, questions. And, thank you, Lana. And that my was answer to, I, uh, thank you very much. I, I think, I think. I also use Facebook. How many of, of you, course, by the way, use Facebook for and personal? Listen to your comments and okay, feedback. Okay, that's personal. And, so. and how many use it for professional uh, perf purposes? By the way, I took my family off. I only use it professionally. I even took my husband off. Thanks, and I Ellie. told them, I took you off. Took my, I only kept my two daughters. I took my son off, my husband off, my father <laughs> I took off, um, my sister. Um, I, don't, I don't have my wife on my Facebook. Uh, we have separate spaces because we have different sets of friends anyway. <laughs> I don't think we need to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't I, see. Um, I, don't I don't see the, you know, the social aspect. I don't have my wife on my Facebook. Social uh, we have separate spaces because we have different sets of friends anyway. Like you, like and I don't I think we need to each other's face. So, and that's perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> we agree. Coffee. <laughs> Yeah. I don't feel the need to say, you know, I'm having I also use it personally. 
I did use it once. But I, I do, I do like a to say, house. hello, here is a nice somewhere in British uh, link with some and resources one of my daughters interest you. Please said, have a well, look. Well, I'm in British, I'm you in this know, coffee I'll shop. I think it was something Bay. Uh, if anybody's around but knows me, why don't you join me for coffee? And a good friend of mine joined me. And I didn't know he was in the area. So sometimes, you know, personal is nice, but... Uh, that you say that Nelly, because when I started using social media a lot, especially Facebook and Twitter, maybe eight years ago, six, seven, I don't know. <laughs> it was most social, very, 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 you know, everything you know, you know, it's interesting that you say that, Nelly, because when I started using social media a lot, especially Facebook and Twitter, maybe eight years ago, six, seven, I don't know. It was more social, very, 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 you know, everybody. And then I find that gradually it became more like a semi professional, yeah, personal, and now it's, it's sort of like almost 90% uh, uh, like personal learning glasses, environment from you know, some of the groups that both I have, and they're selling um, and I try not to mix up too many selling, things know, with it. Just so it's interesting how it has kind of or real evolved. people that have been hacked or what? Yeah. yeah um, you have to, you have to, um, if you run a group, um, you really have to keep an eye out for I think. Um, yeah, and that's where it's nice to have other administrators as well. We have a group with a lot of people. Share, share it around with a couple of yeah, um, so you have to, you have to, um, if you run a group, um, you really have to keep an eye out for them, I think. Um, no, I'm not talking. And that's where it's nice to have other administrators as well. So if you have a group with a lot of people, share, share it around with a couple of others so they too can, they too can, um, yeah. No, but I'm not talking about can help clean up some of it. And yes, a lot of it is ad. That's how Facebook makes ad. money. But you know, they Tom, study your personal profile and they kind of like feed stuff that they think you might be interested in. We're banning you. Most of the time, they we're banning you because they get it wrong. But anyway, people like it turned out that Facebook does not like you to ban. There's something weird. They want, especially if it's farmers. Because that's how they um, make money. That's how they give their customers mileage. So, uh, but we don't want to. If they want to let us use the tools, then they have to give us freedom to remove whoever we like. No, because they, they, yeah, but you they want but you can just especially delete, if it's spammers. You cannot say because I'm that's how they because um, of spam. make money. Then you're, you're that's how they give their them. customers mileage. So. Trust me, don't. Um, but we don't want to. If they want to let us use the tool, then the they have to give us freedom to remove whoever we like, I think. Any, <laughs> any other points or questions? I, I have a question. How do you, what do you think the future is going to be of Facebook? Is it going to go in the direction that Google is going, in the direction of education, learning? Yeah. Or is it going to go in the direction of. Yeah, that's. that's Spam and thing. advertisements um, and things like that. Susan business, made a, more business. Something came to me the other day about last week, around the time when what was being um, bought up. I I think Facebook is eventually going to merge. You know, going to become a space. Um, what do you think? Something came to me the other day about last week. Around the time when what was being um, bought up, I I think Facebook is eventually going to merge, you know, going to become a space um, where I think certainly for the for groups, for example, I think um, it it could very well be used for for that kind of. A thing, and I think that's where it's going to go. I think more, less of the social side of it. We're going to see. Um, it's amazing that it has stuck around for for what ten years? Eight, ten, eight. I mean, if you study how social media work, they don't really last long. Um, and Facebook has really stuck it out. I. 
it's hard to tell where it's gonna go. Um, I guess I was more or less thinking about. I hope that it remains a kind of space where we can, you know, meet up, I think it's have little communities, to, uh, discuss things, you know, be full of it. use it for whatever we like, go, like, whether uh, it's spamming or whatever. My space, um, like my education, space. it's gonna go in the direction um, of or, my or, space, and you know, as it is. Spam. But it's hard to tell. What and do you think, on? I hope so. I hope so. That's just a hope. Google is going to flood them out. Um, well, Google has a lot of has a lot of platforms. Eh? I mean, a range of of tools. It's not only Google.com. YouTube. Is, uh, you think so? <laughs> Sad though. Um, yeah. The thing with Google is that Google has a a range of of platforms eh? I mean a range of of tools it's not only google.com it's YouTube it's uh, Google Apps it's um, you know G plus um, so I think yeah of course Google is probably going to be around in some format um, I don't like G plus I think it's a bit too messy um, People seem to like it, but it, it's very difficult for me to use. I mean, I'm looking at it through the glasses of a tech person. Um, you know, but, but we'll see. That's an interesting question. Really. Yeah, I, I absolutely hate the layout of G+. I really don't like it. Um, and for some reason, it feels more open to me. Yeah, uh, yeah. A, 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 yeah, a G+, community like feels more open. It was. It, well, it wasn't Google, bad. It the thing is, bad. Google hasn't gotten the um, good. I don't the know social media thing right. They've gotten that aspect right. You remember the one that was in your mailbox? What was it again? Buzz? Was it Google Buzz? Um. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I I use um anybody use um docs for example I use it a lot now um um I generate my class list using that I have students doing little spreadsheets online and drawing collaboratively but they don't have Google Drive is fine like. I do spreadsheets and there are groups I do uh, and there surveys actually ridiculous. and I run little quizzes just don't look right. um practice quizzes so. I like the form. It's very nice to use. So, so yeah. I, I mean, I like Google. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. Um. Maybe they don't care too much, too. You know. I mean, I don't know. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. Um. And um. So let's yeah, continue. we write collaborative documents. That's very nice. Let's Veronica. continue the conversation. Um, Our t time it's, is up. It's easy to if do. We can continue it's a good the way of brainstorming. Has added. Um, uh, yeah. There it is again. And then it's tied to your email account. Continue the discussion, Len, you know, in the um, courseware. Makes it easy to work. So course feed. Yeah. Course feed. So while Facebook is here, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly, exactly. So thank you for joining us on your national holiday. How far are you yep. from home? How are you, how far are you from home? I will be dropping by to oh, see their okay. friends or comments or suggestions or, you know, or any thank yous or anything. Oh, your little man looks amazing. Yeah. We saw him on your desktop. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it, it's a price. Yeah. Okay. And, so yeah. have a wonderful day and the rest of the week. Ten minutes from home, so I'll be home in and, and um, for us, have a wonderful week. Yeah, I'm going to the park to take my little man for a walk. Week. So, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining, and uh, this will be shared on YouTube, a Google. I mean, that's nice. Um, venture. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Please. Good party, <laughs> yeah. Yeah.